Guys, welcome back to School of Calisthenics. Today we're talking about how to clutch flag. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you click below and then we'll get into this week's tutorial. So obviously we've got Jacko, head of human flags. I'm going to make him earn some money today and, uh, and actually show us a few progressions. So we're going to start off talking about why the clutch flag is an easier progression than the full human flag. So do you want to give us a demo yep. of that first? So in a, in a full flag, we're taking a super long lever angle. So the feet effectively are a long way away from the hands, as far as they can be, which means that the force and strength required around the joints is much higher. The longer the lever, the more force that's required. So now let's have a look at the clutch flag and then we'll talk a little bit about why it's an easier progression. So I'm gonna get Jacko to give us a quick demo. What we're noticing is the bar is now sitting much closer into the body. We haven't got the overhead position that we had before. And we're actually creating a little bit of stability with one of these arms as well to be able to provide a rest for the bow to sit on. So because the bar is now closer, our point of contact requires less torque. It's more stable around the shoulders, but we're still getting a great exercise which is starting to link the obliques and some pushing strength. Ooh. And that is actually a really important ability to be able to perform that contraction with the obliques in the human flag. Yeah, you're really going to feel it on that top side, guys, as well as that, that bottom arm shoulder pulling down. Like Tim says, it's just, you're nicely nested in there, so it's not, the demand is much easier and certainly on that top of pull from yeah. the top arm it's much easier. Having those shoulders in that tight position just takes out a load of the complexity of the whole of the full human flag where we're worrying about being stable and strong overhead. This the body and the brain might much prefer this position we've got loads more strength in here so it's a great way to kind of get into your flag training. And you get a nice picture along you the way. You do get a nice photo along the way. Let's get into a bit more detail on that hand position. Guys, we're going to show you on a, a bar. We use these handles for full flag, as you saw before, but actually all you need for a clutch flag is just a straight pole. So we're not, we're not relying on these at all. They're just going to be there for... Lamp post is perfect. Yeah, it's perfect for a, for a clutch flag. All right, let's get Jacko to go through into it. So elbow is going to come up nice and high and he's going to place his armpit up against the bar. Yeah, don't worry about that. So you see he nestles that guy in there, then he comes around with this top hand and it almost grips in that downward position, thumb facing down, and takes a nice strong grip on here. So keep this bar nice and close and the elbow high. The bottom hand then comes in and we're gonna stick the elbow right up into the ribs and just above the pelvis there. And that's what we're gonna be resting on when we get into the full movement. It's good, good to go up onto your toes to get, make sure you're getting that in. Yeah, height. get some height in the body. And then again, downward thumb position on that bottom hand. When we, with a force application, we're pushing both hands hard into the bar and down to be able to create that lift so it's a real grip and a shove down on the bar so to, the first progression is can Jacko just start to put some force in rest on on the elbow and just tap the feet off the floor so we're just kind of calling that that would be a equivalent of a vertical um, full flag this is a vertical um, clutch flag position so that's our first one the second one is going to be again we're playing around with this lever length if we keep the knees tucked it means that we've got less weight out which means there's a lower demand on the strength required to hold the position so if you can nail that one get a few second hold in there keep resting keep pushing hard keep squeezing the bar and then he can go single leg and i reckon he's going to transition straight into a double and that is our clutch flag so really nice progression guys, Jacko's got that in the locker for fun, head of human flags, we'd expect nothing less. It's a, it's, it's a really good one for, for a couple of reasons, one, it gets you a real nice photo and you can start telling people you can do a flag, it's just a variation of it, and it makes you, you get to feel that like, well I've done something that's a little yeah. bit impossible, we classify that as almost like an intermediate um, calisthenics exercise, a progression towards that human flag. One of the best things about it from my, for, from my point of view, is it teaches you how to keep that, that hip up connected to that shoulder um, you're using firing the core of the obliques around that side which is often what we see when we're coaching people the human flag is the weakest part of their yeah. chain once they've sort, sorted the arms out in the full human flag it's getting that strong enough and this is a great exercise along with some of the other ones in our um, tutorials and, and ebooks on the human flag for building up that strength there so it is a great one for that yeah. The other thing I quite like about it is we see the grip position here. If you're going to go and learn to flag, to full flag on a straight bar rather than using handles, you need to get used to pushing down into the bar on that bottom hand. So again, it sets up loads of benefits and uh, yeah, nice little step on the way to your full flag. So that's if you it. Haven't, uh, if you, I hope you've enjoyed yes, it. I if did. you've got any questions, comment below about the, the flags, clutch flags or um, any of the other uh, exercises in calisthenics that you want to, any help with. If you haven't subscribed make sure you click up by tim's head so you don't miss out on any content we've got a free beginner's guide and that's down there if you're just getting started um, and if you want to see any of our other tutorials click up there by my head until next time guys class, class dismissed, dismissed.